A lamp has two light bulbs with an average lifespan of 1,500 hours each, assuming we can model the probability of failure of these bulbs by an exponential density function with a mean of 1,500, find the probability that both of the lamp's bulbs fail within 600 hours. So if we let x be equal to the number of hours until the first light bulb fails, and y equal the number of hours until the second light bulb fails, we want to find the probability that x is less than 600 and y is less than 600. If we take a look at our notes below, this probability is equal to the double integral over the region R of f of x comma y, where f of x comma y is equal to the product of f of x sub one and f of y sub one, where both of these are the exponential density function shown here, where in our case, mu or the mean is equal to 1,500. So again, f of x comma y is going to be equal to f of x sub one times f of y sub one, where f of x sub one is going to be one divided by 1,500 times e raised to the power of negative x divided by the mean of 1,500 times f of y sub one, which is now a function of y, so we have 1,500 times e raised to the power of negative y divided by 1,500. Multiplying the coefficients, we have f of x comma y equals one divided by 2,250,000 e raised to the power of negative x divided by 1,500 e raised to the power of negative y divided by 1,500. So this is going to be f of x comma y, and because we're looking for where x is less than 600 and y is less than 600, the region R is going to be the square region in the xy plane. So now we know the probability of x being less than 600 and y being less than 600 is going to be equal to, again, this double integral, where f of x comma y is this function here. So let's write this as one over 2,250,000 times a double integral of e to the negative x divided by 1,500 times e to the negative y divided by 1,500. Now for differential A, because our region is square, the order of integration doesn't really matter. Differential A is equal to, let's say, dx dy. And now for the limits of integration for x, because our region is square, we're gonna integrate from zero to 600. And the limits of integration for y are going to be the same from zero to 600. Now let's go and evaluate this on the next slide. We first integrate with respect to x. Notice how we have to perform u substitution, where u is equal to negative x divided by 1,500. So differential u is equal to negative one over 1,500 dx. So if we multiply both sides by negative 1,500, we have negative 1,500 differential u is equal to differential x or dx. So we can think of e raised to the power of negative x divided by 1,500 differential x as negative 1,500 e to the u du. So that would give us negative 1,500 divided by 2,250,000 times the integral from zero to 600 of, and the derivative is going to be e to the u, which is really e to the negative x divided by 1,500, and we're treating y as a constant. And this fraction simplifies to negative one over 1,500. So these are limits of integration for x. So we would have e to the negative y divided by 1,500 times. When x is 600, we'll have e to the negative 600 divided by 1,500. And when x is zero, we just have e to the zero. This simplifies to e to the negative two-fifths minus one, which are both constants. So let's write this as negative one over 1,500 times the quantity e to the negative two-fifths minus one, 
then we still have times the integral from zero to 600 of e to the negative y divided by 1,500, and we have differential y. So now when you get respect to y, which also requires u substitution, we already use u, let's use v. So v is equal to negative y divided by 1,500. So differential v is equal to negative one over 1,500 differential y. Multiplying both sides again by negative 1,500, we have negative 1,500 differential v equals differential y. So notice how we integrate. We have another factor of negative 1,500. So we'd have negative one over 1,500 times the quantity e to the negative two-fifths minus one. And we have our extra factor of negative 1,500. And the antiderivative is going to be e to the u, which is really just e to the negative y divided by 1,500 which is really just negative y. And the antiderivative is e to the v, or e to the negative y, divided by 1,500. Notice how this simplifies to one. So we have e to the negative two-fifths minus one times, again, when y is equal to negative 600, we have e to the negative 600 divided by 1,500 minus when y is zero, we just have e to the zero. So notice how these two factors are going to be the same. This comes out to the quantity e raised to the power of negative two-fifths minus one squared, which is the probability that we're looking for. Again, the probability that x is less than 600 and y is less than 600 is equal to the quantity e raised to the power of negative two-fifths minus one squared Let's convert this to a decimal using the calculator. We have open parenthesis, second natural log brings up e, power of negative two divided by five, right arrow, minus one, close parenthesis, and then squared, enter. So we get approximately 0 0.1087. which as a percentage would be approximately 10.87%. Look, and this is the probability that both light bulbs will fail within 600 hours. I hope you found this helpful.